Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's nine o'clock, uh, and it's and, and it's Monday. So, welcome to Real Talk with Devin Will. We appreciate you being here again. You survived another weekend, and um, apparently, you're still here. So that's a good thing. And and you, and you come back, and you and you guys have been. And I hate that phrase. And and you people who are watching, uh, our, our subscribers and the like, have been very loyal. And thank you for hanging in there with us week after week. And going to the YouTube channel and the, and the Facebook page and the website and all that stuff. Thank you. We really, really appreciate that as we grow, uh, and we're growing. You know, it, 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 it's like a, it's like a, like a piece of ivy on a wall. You know, at first you don't see it, and then before you know it, it's it's taking up about a quarter of the wall, and then by the next time you notice, know it, it's taking up half the wall. And and one of those things, and when that happens, and it finally takes the entire wall, you know, it's going to be there forever. So. That's how we're growing, and we're really happy about that. What do we do this weekend? Oh, we 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 had a busy weekend again. Um, I got to go and be on a, be not on the show, but be with my my husband here on his uh, WTMP, which is the boss of the bay boss here the, in Tampa. The boss bay. of the bay, you gotta love WTMP. WTMP, hey, best music. For riding in your car, they play the best. They play the they play the oldies, and it's the best. So, um, but I got to go and sit with him, and um, he was the producer producer that I, day. Yeah, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I had to produce. I don't normally produce. I normally contribute, but I had to produce that day. Um, and he has a Saturday talk show. So that was my first time um, going to the station and sitting and listening and meeting a lot of community people. They did a lot of um, events, you know, of, about a Juneteenth event. Um, and this, uh, uh, your friend that has Connie uh, Burton, she's have doing a card, Mother's yes, card, Mother's Day cards. And I think I want to give some information out on that. I think that's cool too. I think. I, I think we should. I think that's a really good idea. She go she um had started this program where she sends Mother's Day cards to um mothers in prison. And she also does it for Father's Day, which I feel is even more important because father on Father's Day a lot of men in prison get forgotten. They they simply do. The um I've heard people from prison mention that the Mother's Day, there's a numerous amount of cards and visitations and stuff for mothers that are in prison. But on fathers, the, the fathers don't get cards. They don't get any recognition. And, you know, even though they're in prison, they still... Still human. And they're still alive. Human. Yes. So um, I, I, I thought that was an excellent idea. It's Brilliant idea, she oh, says. Really, it was <laughs> on uh, giving mothers uh, Mother's Day cards and uh, Father's Day cards out in prisons, and um, that that brightens somebody's day. You never know what it could do to someone that you know. But people make mistakes, and they do get they have to go to prison, and it, uh, sometimes lives are changed in prisons. Um, and they turn themselves over to the Lord and they come out and they are totally on fire and do miraculous things. Um, so I think it's good not to forget people that are in prison. Yeah. Um, for those of you who are local, um, sister, um, we call her sister Connie Burton, um, it came up, came, is, it came up with that, uh, um, with that. Hey, Janetta. Janetta I know um, you know her probably. And, um, and, and 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 it's really cool because um people do get forget i mean you know people do get forgotten and um and then they have to come back to the community after spending two three four five ten years away um and after a while they feel disconnected and then reconnecting is a lot more difficult so uh i think i think it was a great idea um connie did it um for men in prison at christmas time and um and then, and now she's doing it on, on Mother's Day and Father's Day. I, th I you know, I, I, I told Debbie, I think this is going to be bigger than she thinks. I think, I think this is this is this is going to explode to a degree that she's not going to be able to handle it by herself. Um, so, um, yeah. So, um, if you are in the if you are in the Tampa Bay community um, and you know, especially East Tampa, and you know um, Connie Burton, get a hold of Connie and. Um, 
As a matter of fact, I, I will try to find that phone number for you yes, as we're talking it. today, and uh, I'll post it here. So, uh, who do we have? We have we have Janetta and Joyce and Daryl, and that's Daryl, mm-hmm. um, and Cecilia, Cecilia and and Trina. Hey, Trina, big hugs to y'all up there in North Florida. I I, I trust that everyone up there is fine. Uh, we did spend, and we also spent the week, um, our yes. weekend. The rest with, of our weekend we spent with my big brother from um, New York and, and my sissy, his wife. Um, and then my uncle who lives in, we spent the time over in Winter Haven where my uncle lives. And yesterday was his 85th birthday. So, uh, and he looks fabulous. I mean, when I, when I say fabulous, you, if you can have time, look at pictures on my page. Um, he's 85, and that's my mother's brother. And um, it was great spending time with him and, and going back. I used to spend my summers in Winter Haven and, uh, <laughs> and get to know my, my, <laughs> my uncle, uncle Tom and his, his wife, rest in peace, Aunt Ruby. And um, but though that was a good time over there. Yeah, we had a good time. We had a nice, I mean, we had a nice time, a, a bunch of great conversation and, and 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 reconnecting, and we had dinner at a really at, at a really neat little hole in the wall. Um, <laughs> That's where the best food is. Big Daddy's Barbecue over there in Winter Haven. Um, good food, good people. It, 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 and, and this is the times that you really, especially because it, it, it it's great uh, for me um, as an in law. Uh, meeting some of W's relatives, like her, uh, like her uncle Tom, who's again eighty five, and and ve- and I could see this. He was just really happy that pe- people were there for his birthday, and you know what? It it was just it was just really kind of cool. So, um, and then I could be a part of it, you know. And so you know what? Because you just never know how long people are going to be around. So n- never never think that you have time. Yes. Never think, well, we have time. We'll get to that next time or next year or. Or six months, or I'm too busy for that, or whatever. Uh, you know what? Take the time to to to, to connect while you can, uh, because it's really, really important. And I, I think I thought it was really cool that um, Cecil and Julie came down from uh, from Rochester to spend some time um, with Tom. So that I, I and and especially it was especially cool because it was around his birthday, mm-hmm. um, eighty five, <laughs> eighty five. So that's cool, and he does look great, and and and, and he's still well connected in, in 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 his faculties, and and just a lot of fun, and just a lot of fun to be around. Very very, very gentle, pleasant person. So it, so he's really cool. All right, uh, what we're gonna do today? We're gonna talk about um, a meme that that we saw a number yes, of weeks ago. We do a lot of memes, <laughs> and um, I I found this, and I thought it was very humorous. But telling. But telling. It, it's humorous, but it tells the truth. And you can find this meme actually on our page. I posted it there. Um, do you want to read it? Oh, sure. Okay. And, oh, that's, oh, we're back. All right. Um, to all the girls who are in a hurry to have a boyfriend or, 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 or get married, a piece of biblical advice. Ruth patiently waited for her, her mate Boaz. While you are waiting on your Boaz, don't settle for any of his relatives. <laughs> Broke ass, po ass, lying ass, cheating ass, dumb ass, drunk ass, cheap ass, locked up ass, Good for nothing ass, lazy ass, and especially his third cousin beating your ass. Wait on your bow ass and make sure he respects your ass. That's from www.ilovelifequotes.com. Um, and as maybe as rough as it is, um, it's, it's rough. it says some things that are really, really important. Um, I think I think it says some things about about patience and 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 it it, it doubles down really. On what the Bible says about wait about women waiting. I mean, a good a good wife is a a, a good a, a wife is a good thing to find, which says that the that the, that the woman is supposed to wait for somebody to find her, find as opposed her. to going out and looking for somebody. So, um, 
and then being and and having sta- and having some standards mm-hmm. because once you're because you if if you're hooked up with somebody who is in the, one of these categ- one of these categories <laughs> um the the person who may be looking for you might see that and that might be kryptonite to them so if they know that you hooked up with some trifling brother right and they're like yeah, I don't want to get involved in any of that mm-hmm. And then off they go. <laughs> and your boy has leaves. <laughs> your boy has come and go, man, that's, that's way too ratchet for me. And then they're out. So. And for those of you who don't know the story of Ruth and Boaz, um, that's a, a, the book, a book in the Bible. And um, it tells um, the story of, uh, about Ruth, who was married before. And she lost her husband and she stayed with um, her mother-in-law and went to go be with her mother-in-law's family. You know, she, and, but, um, and they worked for their, for uh, her mother-in-law's in-laws, really. It wasn't her fam- blood family. And, um, and Ruth was faithful to her mother-in-law. So she, she, she stayed with her and took care of her and and she worked in the fields of the relatives um and it happened to be and boaz happened to own all of those fields and the lands and all this stuff and he just happened to see her um you know and her and her willingness to just do for ruth uh, for i'm sorry for her mother-in-law who well, naomi is her mm-hmm. mother-in-law who um and and take care of her and in and, and how she worked so hard in his fields and it he thought it was impressive if you have time read the book of Ruth it's a very romantic and very humbling story and um and how a woman can be just be in the right place at the right time that's why you have to always try to to Put on your best face, you know, don't go. I know sometimes we have to run to the grocery store to pick up something and whatever like that. And and you don't have time to put on full makeup and all this stuff. But I always, my mom always taught us that you don't, you, you got to look good when you're out in, in the public. You, you never know who you're going to see. And most of the time I've found that if I say, well, I'm just going to pull my hair back and run up here to the store, no makeup, no, you know, you you look like a bum <laughs> sometimes and you you run into people somebody that you don't want to see you that way so just always try to be prepared if then this is for for people who are looking for a mate always be prepared to 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 look your best to um behave your best you know you never know when somebody's going to be, when your boy is maybe right behind you in the line at the grocery store and you're cursing the, the grocery attendant out and you're carrying on about something simple that you, if you just be patient, just be patient sometimes, you know, and you never know who is watching you. That is, that is true. And I found out because I've been in, in, you know, in the area in the community for a long, long time. Um, I grew up here, uh, went to high school here and uh, elementary, elementary, junior high school and high school. So, um, and what I, hey, Kevin and Narada, uh, dropping by. We appreciate you dropping by. Um, what I, you know, what, what I found is that you, you are always going to find somebody who knows you. Mm-hmm. You're always going to, no matter where you are, you, you're always going to run up against somebody who knows you. Uh, are 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 they going to see you? You may or may not see them. Um, so how you be? So how we be? How we all all behave in public is really really important uh, be, be, because you don't want to crash the relationships that you could have had mm-hmm. because you're angry or frustrated about something that doesn't that doesn't ultimately make any difference. Um, yeah, I know. So you've been waiting in the McDonald's drive-through and they ask you to park. Golly, we all oh, hate that. that. <laughs> Everybody hates that. Um, but you know what? Uh, being the person who's going to go, oh, I'm not going to move, and you're going and you're going to yell and cuss at, at, at you know at, at the teenager in the window. Um, 
And then you look back in your your rearview mirror, and there's somebody you know, and there's your pastor's wife. Nice, nice, <laughs> um, you know. And 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 that kind of stuff happens to people, or somebody who may end up being your a potential employer or a client or mm-hmm. something. So it's really important that we that we conduct ourselves in in public in a way that we can all be proud of and not have to shy away from later, not have to explain mm-hmm. later. Well, you see, I was having an especially bad day and I had a corn on my foot. And, you know, if we can just be patient and control ourselves, that a lot of times will allow good things to happen to us simply because yes. we decided for a second that we we're going to control ourselves, uh, that, that, that we're not going to give in to our base feelings. Um, and there may be, again, your Boaz may be two people, in, two people back in line. Um, but if he sees your ratchetness at the Publix, they go, well, you know, mm-hmm. I was going to ask for, never mind. We'll I saw on. her in church the other Sunday. Yeah. And I thought she was very nice. and But maybe but not. Maybe not. She That's just pushed out that agenda. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't <laughs> cool. I don't know if I want to be involved in that. Yes. So, and, and even if you live in a big city. You're you know, going to find somebody, you're going to run, run up against somebody you know. Yes. That's how that's just how it is. It's just how it is. And if you're in a small town, Woo, everybody and mama gonna know that you showed yes. out at the picture of Wrigley. <laughs> and your boaz might not even be there, but he might hear about it. His brother gonna his brother gonna know. Mm-hmm. Did, did you see that Johnson girl at the Pickley Wiggly? Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> she was there. She had a house slippers on and a do rag and cussing up a storm. And 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 y'all small towns that y'all like so much, that stuff happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time. So I think it's really important to and, and, and like we always talk about it, is that we always prepare um and keep ourselves ready um for this kind of stuff. And and Ruth and the story of Ruth was that she always she always prepared for this stuff. She all always did and she and it became it's just it just became her her nature and her character, and that's why when Boaz saw that that and, and he and he saw not just her beauty but he saw her character. Yes, um, and that was really important. She, she just didn't look good to him um, because she was pretty. She looked she looked good to him because she saw what kind he saw what kind of person she was, um, and it ended up being a blessing actually for both of them. So that's. The, that's a that's the best part. That's an example. Hey, Cynthia, for the rest of us, that is an example for the rest of us. Yes, always be prepared in any situation um, to meet that Boaz. Um, I often tell the story about how how me and Willie met, and. Um, and I and I think back, you know, sometimes that I say, well, I, I I took the initiative and and asked him if he wanted us to go out together, but actually he found me, and it just so happens that I walked into the restaurant where he was working, and um and then later on I started working at that restaurant, and. And I don't know, you know, he could have, if I had him come in there acting a, a, a bee, he might have said, who in the world is this woman, <laughs> this girl? I was a young girl back then. And I could have been a turnoff to him. And even though I was working there with him for years and he just saw my character. There were and, people that I didn't like. I'm going to tell you, there were people yes. there I didn't like. And we were, and for the most part, we were all single, all around the same age. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, it, there were, there were people there that I, that I truly wouldn't have had anything to do with. And one of them for sure. And I will not mention their name, but I think, you know, who it was. <laughs> um and 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 it, and it was really because that person's a person's character was was sketchy and suspect it just was it just, you know it just was mm-hmm. and um as it turned out we were all right yes <laughs> as it turned was. out we were we were all correct 
on uh, on on that assumption of of especially back then bad character. Um, and we weren't even really and sketchy be- say back and then. just sketchy just sketchy behavior and certain and it it played out. So and and any time because you know back in the early eighties, I guess we could have all done whatever. Uh, we weren't. I mean, we weren't church. We weren't church kids, and and and, and that kind of stuff. So we could have easily gotten into behaviors and and relationships that were detrimental to our progress. But when you see somebody, you can, you, you just go, well, this maybe this is not a person I want to be involved with. I don't mm-hmm. need. I don't need this now, <laughs> or ever really. As it turned out, I didn't need any of that ever. Uh, so yeah, and Debbie's right. You know, if she had been coming in and, and acting ratchet and, and and stuff, maybe that that would have been maybe that would have been a turnoff. That was like, nah, that's, nah, that's not that's not that's not how I want to go. Um, so it's important. It's important, especially if you are a person now who are saying that you're that you're feeling this is a time in your life that you are 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 hoping for that level of relationship that you're hoping um, to up your game and find a spouse or find a life yes. partner or what or whatever partner. or whatever a soulmate. A soulmate and all that crap but anyway um <laughs> then it's a, a, a lot of it's going to a lot of it's going to be on the image that you portray um how real and authentic that image is uh because like like again the example of ruth is ruth wasn't just faking it that that was her Mm-hmm. And that's what Boaz saw. Boaz saw that she wasn't just putting on airs; that was actually her, and that was as as, as attractive um, as her beauty. And according to the scripture, uh, Ruth was a looker. She was she was pretty. She was pretty. Because that's what initially got his attention. Because that's that's the human side of us. Like, oh, oh, mm-hmm. and then he saw her every day. Every day, her character, her character. Every he saw her character every day, so that became the part that that ended up being more attractive than anything. Because Boaz didn't have to; Boaz was fine. Mm-hmm. He could have had any woman he, he wanted. wanted to. But um, and and that that's another thing that you know you have to think about is that uh, there are beautiful people out there. You know, you you, you know a lot of women and men, and men do look for you know, beauty. I want a woman that's fun and this and the other and all that. And then a lot of uh, women are like that. Well, I only, if he's that dark, I don't want to date him. He's too short. Yes, he's too short. He's too fat. Like somebody can do something about their height. (laughs) Be like, wait, 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 wait. There you go. There's another, there's another four inches. You like me now? But you, you know, (laughs) A lot of times uh, something can be wrapped up in a beautiful package and they are broke ass and beat your ass and all that, trash. all that. And, and just trash. <laughs> yes. They're, tr- they're trash because you can write, wrap up, you know, cow manure and, you know, in a, a you know, in a, in a shi- in shiny paper and put a bow on it mm-hmm. and it still be cow manure uh, because it's only outside. And it's, you know, it's eventually, You'll find out what's inside. The more that you are in relationship with someone, you'll find out what's inside of them. Um, no matter what the mm-hmm. outside package is, um, so that's not the whole, so that's not the whole thing. Um, and guys, do this. Run this experiment this week, as you're at the grocery store, if you're at the Starbucks, or you're at the whatever. Um, I want you to be a little bit more observant. I want you to find the girl that that catches your attention and if you can i want you to listen to how they're they're speaking and what the kind of stuff they're talking about and see if i'm not right and see if i'm not right you may go ooh, and then she opened her mouth you're like oh <laughs> ooh, uh no mm-hmm. and 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 women the same thing you know what take a little time maybe this use this little experiment this week go you know what you're at the grocery store. You're at whatever. You're at the doctor's office, and you, and you, and you find someone that catches your eye. The bank, bank, whatever. <laughs> Look at them for a second. And go, and you and you might go ooh, and then you listen to them for a second, and then you might uh, watch watch their actions, and you'll find out that what we're saying is true. That sometimes the, just because they have an outer package doesn't necessarily mean that you want anything to do with what's on the inside of that package. 
It may just be. Uh, and don't be fooled by yeah. that package. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of people get trapped in, in relationships and you've been, you know, you dating this person and you decide that you want to get serious with them and so forth. And, and, you know, and they're putting on the Ritz. They're doing all the right things and doing this stuff. That's why it's so important to get to know somebody, get to 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 be around them and be around how they treat their because it's depending on your age, how they treat their children, how they treat their mother. Uh, that was something that my father used to always tell me. How how do you know if you're around them when they treat they're with their mother? If they treat their mother and their sisters ratchet what yeah. are they going to do to you yeah yeah so that's those things are very those things are always very important find out how they treat the people around them find out you know what and, and and ladies find out how they treat the other women that are supposed to be um their closest female relationships their their sisters um and you know what and their mom um, how do they talk to them are, are they brusque with them are they short with them um are they respectful um because again, if if they don't treat their mama good, what makes you think they're gonna treat you worth a mm -hmm. worth a damn? I mean, just just seriously, the people who who the woman who gave gave birth to them and fed them and housed them all their years, if they talk to them like trash, who are you going to be? Who are you going to be when the sex part doesn't work out like they thought? Mm -hmm. Because sex is not. The whole thing in a marriage because you think we I mean come back to sex. well because <laughs> everything always comes back to sex every conversation ends up in the pants um, but you know so so that's what sorry um, that's how my brain works you know I me mean? but um <laughs> but the, but but what well, the deal is that that it may not what well, you'll find out that that's not going to be that may not be enough to sustain and then and then what yes. You got to talk to this person. You got to live with this person. person. You got to be with this person. You got to get, you got to grow. stay in the bed. You got to grow older. You got to go to work. You got to cook. You got to, you got to live in the world. And what you find out is if they're as broke inside and empty inside and not, not the person that you thought they were anyway, um, that's going to be problematical uh, moving down the line. So again, take your time, get to know them, know what you're looking for project the kind of person that you want because we will draw the kind of person that, that we are we are i mean however we project ourselves is what we'll what we'll get and this is a story of uh, of ruth ruth projected an image and she got that mm -hmm. it's a perfect example of how you ought to do it she projected the kind of person that she needed in her life and she received that she wasn't just lucky because people think that people just get lucky. You just got lucky. Mm -hmm. What? Well, lucky. lucky? You got you a good man. Like like like, like, like sometimes you spin a wheel and go that one. No, no. Some people actually take the time and they and whatever image they project is what you'll get back. Um, so if, if if you're projecting a fake, non-authentic image to try to impress people, you'll find that person mm -hmm. who's projecting a fake, inauthentic um, image. To impress people and there's nothing behind it and if that's already happened to you raise your hand no don't 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 don't, don't raise your hand i don't, don't want to know like that's right i don't, don't want to know but i know that some people have already gone through that mm -hmm. which is why they're bitter and saying yes no this they and they say that all the good men are gone either they're married or gay first of all that's not true they're still good men to be had they may not come in the package mm -hmm. that you think they're in Mm -hmm. They may be too skinny, too tall, too short, too chubby. They may wear glasses. Driving an old car. An old car. They may have a gap between their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. Um, but they may that 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 may be exactly what they may be the the, the guy that, exactly what you're looking for, exactly what you need, exactly what you what you will end up wanting. Um, so again, it's more than the exterior. Uh, it's about the image that projects from the inside that's authentic. Um, so it, whatever you want, make sure that you're projecting an authentic image as well. If you're projecting an, uh, an image that's ratchet 
and loud and um, argumentative, and um, that's what you'll get. We are the bait, and we get the fish that will. You, you get the fish that's attracted to that, and most of the time that fish is a, is a shark or a mudfish. <laughs> yeah, mudfish. Uh, or a stingray. <laughs> or stingray. You know, something, unple- something unpleasant. I've so, got, uh, hang on, I've got, I've, I've, I've found this, and I said I was looking for it. So when I looked like I wasn't paying attention, I wasn't actually paying attention. Um, let's see here. Uh, this is from our friend Connie Burton. Uh, Connie Burton has been a stalwart in the local area here. Um, especially about housing issues for poor people, um, and she doesn't have any power, any, any, any problem speaking truth to power, and actually getting stuff, and actually getting stuff done for people. And this is, and her project that we talked about at the beginning of the program was that she that she is sending Mother's Day cards to women in prison um, to make sure that they know that they're not forgotten. Um, and if you're interested in, in, in helping, and really doesn't matter where you are, um, if you want to donate $2 um, mm-hmm. to help her, you know, what to, to sort to help of her get her project to fray, to, to, you know, to, to, hey, Tammy, to defray the cost of the card and the postage, um, we, we would really appreciate it. You can actually give her a call at 727, and we'll put this in the comment area after we're done. 727. Um, 727- Six two three five six three seven. Write that down. Seven two seven six two three five three. Excuse me, five six three seven. Or you can go to Black Thoughts on here on Facebook. Black Thoughts on Facebook and 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 help out. I think that because I I think it's a brilliant idea. I I, I think that is a really compassionate idea. Um, Especially because you know when people are are, are in prison, it's like, it's like every, you know it's like you think that holidays are depressing for people who are out here. Ima- imagine. imagine being locked up away from your family and your kids, um, mm-hmm. especially women who have children being you know being sequestered from your children. Yes, it's by your own most time by your own hand and and all that mm-hmm. stuff, but still the humanness of it of, of not being able. To hug your kids or see your kids or or you know what are 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 and people eventually will will forget about these things because you know mama's in jail so mm-hmm. they just keep living they just they just keep on with their lives so I I think I think this is a really I think it's a really compassionate idea uh, and even if you don't live in the Tampa Bay area if you live in an area where you know there's a prison like in Tallahassee there's a prison there. And you want to to try to get a project up to do that? Call Connie and find out how she did it, what she's doing, and I mean it, that can spread. It, we can make this spread the whole United States. You know, if everybody just do a little bit of cards in 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 their area. Um, so contact Connie and see if you can do, even donate to help her cause. Definitely. Or, Definitely donate, or maybe start your own cause in your area. And um, she's again, she sends the Mother's Day cards and Father's Day cards. And I feel that the Father's Day part portion is even more important because um, we've heard from people that work in prisons, and some Father's Day the the men don't get anything, and um, but the women constantly get cards. So. Um, the men are probably the most in need and it's enough time right now because you, we all know mother's day is this Sunday coming. And, <laughs> and so, I'll be right back. and so we have more time to do the father's day thing. So if you um, are in an area that you can help with that, Call Connie, see if she can hook you up, and see about helping out with the Father's Day situation. Yeah, we. So we. I mean, forget oops, sorry. In sorry, we're. Um, um, I'm. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to put that information <laughs> in the comments in in in, in 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 the comment area here. Um, but I don't know how to use my wife's telephone. Apparently, I do. There you go. There you go. Now it's in there. 
Um, so yeah, there's um, you can check out our project. You, you you can give her a call at seven two seven six two three fifty six thirty seven, or go to Black Thoughts here on Facebook. Just type in you know what in the little search area Black Thoughts and help out. Um, if you're in the area and you want to call Connie, uh, she, she if you're in the area, she said that she would bring you cards cards to sign. Um, and, and while we were at the radio station, we gave them up a number and people called, somebody called her like right, right after right. she got done and, um, she was headed over to their house to bring them some cards. So, uh, what, what, what you know about, uh, Connie is that she is a woman of her word. She will do what she says. And, um, it's an awesome, awesome it's, idea. It, it, it's a, it, it's a great project. And at this time of year, I'm, I'm glad that, 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 that we could share it with you. Um. All right, um, we're going to get out of here and make room for somebody else. Cause, um, thank you all for joining us today. Thanks, everybody, for dropping by. We appreciate it. Um, again, uh, make sure that you go. I mean, this show is going to be uploaded to YouTube. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and click the notification bell. Ding, because that way you will get notifications every time we upload or we do something live. Um, and that, because that's important um, to us as we grow and share this with your friends, share this with your enemies. Um, share share this with the people that that you think is really going to irritate them because that'll be because it'll be fun for you. Uh, <laughs> um, and um, again, go to the website realtalkshow.us, not dot com dot us. Why? Because that stupid show, the real, ha- had the ha- had the dot com <laughs> jerks. Um, so <laughs> uh, what? Be nice. I am, and I am nice. <laughs> That's the part. That's where I am. I am being nice. Um, they took our, um, the, they took the, the dot com. So it's uh, real. It's realtalkshow dot us, and um, there's a blog there, and um, there's places that you can sign up if you want to. If, if you want to invite Devin out, uh, Devin and I out to talk to a group of people at your church or community center or, or whatever, um, that's available too. Um, all that's all on the website. You can check it out. Let's see what else is there. Just the website. There's oh, and our Instagram page. Please go to the Instagram page um, at um, and this and, and I and I have to rename this because this is too hard to remember. R T W D W. There it is. There it is. I'll write it down. Hang on. It's um, R T W D. I can't type and talk at the same time. Thank you all for being with us Hang this on. morning. There it is. There it is right there. Um, oh. So check out our Instagram page there uh, because we are um, in more than one place. Because I don't want people to think that we're only here on Monday and it's yes. the only time you can get a hold of us uh, and that you have to wait a whole week uh, to ask questions or make comments. Please ask questions and give comments and recommendations on type, what you what do you want us to talk about? What do you want to see? Do you want to see more of our real life? Um, I'm trying to. This is a fork in our house. <laughs> I've been trying to Happy? get him more into us doing some real blogging, you know. And we think about it, but then it's too late when we think about it. And we <laughs> blogging or vlogging? Vlogging. Oh, I tried to do that on on, on the trip, and you didn't seem like you. Anyway, anyway so there you go. Um, and check out our Facebook page, obviously. Uh, Real Talk with Devin Will. And um, listen, again, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care take of yourself. Take care of yourself. Happy we'll, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, and we'll see you when we see you. Peace. Peace. We are out.